Perfect lineup though to flip up in all this current. There's a fish right there. Picked it up off the bottom. I mean, oh my gosh, he came up right at the bank and just cranked it. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna be testing out the brand new mic, brand new Lumix that I just picked up over at Best Buy. Super stoked, 4K camera, so hopefully the quality is a bit better. And shoot, without a doubt, we're gonna be doing a little bit of canal fishing today. So we have probably about an hour of light left. Let's get out there, let's see what we could do. Let's go see if we can go whack a big in. Stay tuned, enjoy, and let's go whack them. All right, guys, so we got a super windy evening here. Now, one thing I'm not gonna lie to you guys about, you're technically not allowed to fish these canals. So that's why I'm doing it so that you guys don't have to and you guys don't have to get in trouble. I just gotta give it an opportunity because it looks way too freaking good. Oh, oh, we got bit guys. We got freaking bit. We got bit. Oh, oh, he took it. He took it. Oh, oh my gosh. They're loaded in here, guys. I just got bit. Just dropping this down there. Oh my goodness. Dropping the BC Bug Jr. 2.8 inch fat pack baits. Dropping it down there and we got enough. They're chasing bait down there. I see a bunch of bait fish skittering around. Oh my gosh, as I was just saying, you're not allowed to fish these canals, but you know, I'd rather me get in trouble than one of you guys so that you guys don't have to get in trouble. If you like were to come here and you know, someone gives you a, gives you a hard time for fishing here. There's so much current over here. There's gotta be a few more fish than just that one that double took it. I cannot believe we missed it. He was such an aggressive fish. And I mean, I had him on for maybe a quarter of a second. He felt pretty, pretty freaking good. Man, we got this so quick and then nothing. I'm gonna rip it down there. Cause it looks like there's a little opening. Oh, oh, big old swell came off the wall. Oh, there we are. On the BFS, nice little chunky bass came out of that piping. First consolidated canal bass. Tell you what. These guys are not caught very often, so they're a lot more lively, a lot more aggressive, a lot healthier. They're freaking awesome fish. Very awesome fish. Check that out right there, guys. Beautiful little bass. Thanks for the bite, buddy. Get back in there. I'll tell you what, this is a perfect lineup, though, to flip up in all this current. There's a fish right there. Picked it up off the bottom. Ooh, hoo, hoo. He's jumping. He's jumping. He's squirming. Thank you for the bite, buddy. Yeah, a little feisty one. Absolutely cranking the Beastie Bug Jr. by Fat Pack Baits. Little green pumpkin black flake. Thank you for the bite, my guy. Man, and I'll tell you what, these fish, they're knocking it. I mean, absolutely knocking it. We got a six pound soft steel fluorocarbon on. And that six pound up in the current allows this bait to move around extremely natural. And that's what these bass are gonna want. They're gonna want a really natural looking bait, but yet aggressive bait, especially this time of day. This time of day, they're out hunting, they're doing their thing. They're trying to fatten up for the summer months. Cra no, I hit this and my line split and broke. We're gonna have to go back to the car and tie on another jig head because of my idiotness not watching where I'm casting. All right guys, so I just went back to the car, just realized that I had a little dark sleeper with me. I actually had two of them. Totally forgot when I went over to Copper State, you know, you go into that store, there's baits everywhere. You end up buying a little bit too much, but that is why you buy a little bit too much for instances like this, when you're scrambling around, trying to find a bait that's gonna work in a specific area and you open your box and you're like no way totally forgot i bought this thing so really glad i bought a little bit extra because this thing is gonna absolutely slay guarantee you will get bit within the very first cast if not the second cast and the problem is is i'm probably not catching as many fish because you want to fish with the current and currently i'm fishing against the current so it's uh probably not working in my favor too much but oh man that was almost a bad backlash but we're doing the best that we can and i do think that we'll get get at least one more fit oh my gosh look at the bass look at the bass did you guys see that those bass my hand may have been in the way of the gopro but that was gnarly that was top water action right there guys that is a legitimate popper action little buzz bait pond buzz bait stuff like that i'm, I'm rolling this thing up top i'm rolling this up top because that was a 
chunky, chunky bass that smacked that bait fish up top. I mean, everything hits this bait. I'm, there we are, there we are, there we are. He hit it. He hit it on the sleeper, the low quarter rounds. He wasn't even that big, but that bite was, I don't know, there's probably more than this guy there, but that one, I would love to catch that one fish because that one fish freaking knocked the bait fish like crazy. Thanks for the bite, dude. Get ginormous. Become a behemoth. Man, that was crazy. These fish, when they hit, I mean, they knock it. It's not like a bite. I mean, they freaking hit it. Absolutely insane. And guys, the way I find all my spots, doesn't matter if it's a pond, a canal, I go on Google Maps, I look at every single waterway, I go and fish it, and a lot of times I get skunked and I don't post a video. I fish nearly every day. But there's a lot of times, you know, I just flat out get skunked. But then you find little waterways and you end up hooking up with a lot of fish. A lot of fish, just like this. And there's so much fun on the B, B, uh, BFS gear. Gosh, I can't even speak because I'm so stoked. So hyped. Thank you for the bite, dude. Biggest one of the day. He's got a little... Uh, little boo-boo on his dorsal fin probably should retie only because that fish inhaled this bait i feel like if we get bit again we may lose the fish we may lose the entire rig altogether. that is why you always want to make sure that your line is not frayed and it's not perfect but as i was saying before i hooked up with that fish I fish all the time, guys, and there's a lot of times where I get skunked, and I get a lot of people asking me, where, where are you fishing, man, because you're catching a lot of fish, and I literally go on Google Maps, and I just, I find spots, and you end up finding little gems like this. All right, guys, so, ooh, I got to take a cast. Sorry, just saw a bass just boil. I have to. I got no choice. Try to get this on. Oh, my gosh, I actually flipped that perfect. Oh my gosh. Well, that dude uh, completely took my bait. I was literally reeling up and right as I was pulling it out of the water, probably a little pound, pound and a half, or it could have been bigger because he swooped in so quick, just snatched the little sleeper. And because I'm using six pound test and I've caught multiple fish, it probably frayed and I screwed myself. I'm gonna try to get it on camera though, this time. Because the last time, that dude snatched it. Dang it, popped off. He popped off. I literally hooked up first cast. First cast. At the time on the new sleep. I gotta do one last flip like I can. Ah. Alright guys, so not too bad so far. We got like four or five fish so far. I have missed probably an additional two or three. We missed two fish right before we were about to pull them up. Those were actually a little bit bigger fish, probably about a pound or so. All in all, not too bad. We're gonna stick around for probably about another 10 minutes or so before we bail. But I hope you guys are enjoying the video. And man, that's pretty wicked. Finding new waters. Google Maps, guys, I'm telling you, Google Maps will not let you down. You will find waterways, you will catch fish, and you will have a good time, just like we are today. Hope you guys are enjoying this video. Stay tuned, and let's go get a few more. All right, my line's all twisted up. Make sure there's no phrase, because I do not want to lose this sucker. This little bad boy slay, guys. But like I said, the hooks are super small, so your hookup ratio on these are actually not the best. Great baits to, you know, get numbers, catch a lot of small bass, but definitely i would recommend a 3 8 ounce at the least if you're looking at getting better hook sets just because the hook's a little bit bigger it's set up just like the last spot that we were at just a little bit wider and uh i don't know it looks like it has for some reason a little bit better like habitat it's very similar though oh my gosh guys it fell right in a decent bass's mouth and again spit my goodness, you lose so many of these guys. Man, they, again, again, oh my gosh. 
Again. Oh my goodness. I'm about to throw the rod. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're chasing. Did you guys see that right there? So frustrating, I'll tell you what. It's like I almost want them to engulf it, but I don't because then I know. Oh my gosh, it literally just dropped and I got bit, guys. I was literally fixing the line. We finally got one up. Oh my goodness. Okay, he popped off. He popped off. Nice little bass right there. A little dirty. Get back in there. Guys, I was literally fixing the freaking line and pulling the line out to get the get the backlash out. <laughs> that guy just grabbed it. I just felt my line shoot off and I was like, no freaking way. Again, this is another canal that you're technically not allowed to fish. Just telling and forewarning all of you so that if you do do this, you do have to be prepared of uh, getting kicked out and having a possible other issues. But you know, once in a while, as long as you don't make it like a habit and you don't come out here like every day, come out here, I don't know, a couple times every six months, it's fun. It's a different look, it's a different feel, and overall it's just fun fishing because you have insane freaking action like we've had tonight overall i mean shoot we've only been fishing guys for maybe 45 minutes or so 40 45 minutes i mean oh my gosh he came up right at the bank and just cranked it I'm trying to be a little more careful we've been fishing for 40 45 minutes we have eight bass and we've maybe lost i don't know maybe an additional five to six and had another like gazillion bites. See, I knew they were gonna be loaded up in here just because it's a little bit wider. There's so much good current. It is absolutely insane. Cool little bass right there. Look at that, that's crazy. He's got like little marks and stuff on him from the moss, that's pretty gnarly. My goodness, what action. What insane action we've had. We lost like two, three fish immediately in here. I was honestly about to walk away because we've lost so many fish by the fish just literally spit in the hook. It is one of the most frustrating things when fish do that. I absolutely hate it. It seems like they're, they're in the current, but they're in the slack water of the current. Like where it kind of pulls up a little bit. So like they're literally like up in this little area. You can see where the water's kind of circulating a little bit. And they're, they're up in there. They could be right on the edge. I was literally about to say they could be right on the edge. And this dude was right on the edge of the heavy current. Just trying to play this guy a little safer, stay down. We got that current pushing us. So the fish is using that current to his advantage. No, that was the best pass of the day. And you know, that was completely my fault. I knew he was gonna spit that hook. The second I saw that bait, like right on the edge of his mouth. Completely my fault right there, guys.